Alrighty, so uh, now that I'm in the 60 loner, you already saw my short trip to uh, Coles. Uh, now I gotta do a long trip. I'm going home. I have 122 miles of rated range remaining, and the trip home is going to be 122 miles. <laughs> How about that? So, um, what we're going to do is uh, test out the trip consumption nav track selected trip whatever you call the thing um, I'm just gonna go to my zip code 53129 and we're gonna navigate there which will actually only take me to the center of the village of Greendale which is only about a two blocks from my house so there we go we got navigate and I'm going to wait until I come to a stop here so I don't do anything unsafe. And navigate. Calculating the route. And it's going to want us to stop at the Madison Supercharger. And it's even got that on the... Uh, screen up there. That means I will arrive, I got 58% of my battery right now, I will arrive with 34% in Madison. So there you go, you see there? So they want me to charge up at the Madison, so it's going to route me to, through the Madison supercharger, which is what I'm going at anyways. And uh, I will end up, it's 99 miles, uh, it's not right, uh, it says 99 miles. If you go as the crow flies in a direct straight line from where I am now in the Wisconsin Dells, that 99 miles, uh, that would be correct. So uh, if you go from here to my doorstep in Greendale, then we would be at 100, about 122, maybe slightly more with uh, traffic and whatnot. So let's just go back to resume. And I can actually turn off that uh, that stop in Madison. So let's just see what happens. Because you're not going to have to watch the whole thing here. But let's see what happens when I get rid of the Madison stop. If I can figure out how to do that. going here a nice smooth line on the freeway first. Oh, I forgot how slow a 60 was. <laughs> Shit, did I say that out loud? You didn't hear that. Oh, come on, guys. No kicking up rocks and getting these windshields. Alright, because I just used the acceleration to get onto the freeway. You can see uh, it estimates now it's going to be a little bit lower of a percentage when I arrive at the Madison Supercharger. Oh, here we go. Remove all charging stops. So I'm going to remove that charging stop. Now it's recalculating up here. You know what? I'm going to switch that around. There, easier for you to see. Um, I, I don't have my tripods, Velcro remote ounce or anything with me in this car. Charging needed to reach destination! will arrive with negative 8% battery capacity. Now negative 7. Now I'm going downhill, so the car is drawing considerably less. And I am doing 75, negative 8, yeah. And that's basing it off of the projected range. Since we're coming up to a vehicle in front of us, the, the auto uh, uh, the traffic aware cruise control is slowing me down. We're doing 69 now, but I'm going to move over because I'm stopping in uh, Madison regardless because I know I'm not making it with a 60 kilowatt pack. I'm not stupid. I've been driving these things too long. There we go. Oh, no. So it still thinks I'm going to arrive at negative 7. That is how the new trip 
planning works. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, when I was at home, when I was at home here in Milwaukee, or Greendale actually, and I wanted to come, well, my destination was actually the Madison Supercharger because I didn't have enough, I, I barely had enough to get to the Madison. It actually wanted me to backtrack all the way down to the Pleasant Prairie and no, I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm paying attention to the driving. I'm just using my hand to generally point. Um, so it wanted me to go down to the Pleasant Prairie Supercharger, which is exactly 30 miles from my doorstep, charge up, then turn back around, go back towards Greendale, and then go to Madison, which would have added over one hour in driving, a little more with traffic, plus uh, well, I gotta make up 60 miles worth of of, uh, of uh, driving in charge terms of charge time. So I would have added anywhere from 15 minutes or so to a half hour of additional charge time. Because remember, if I was down here, then I would then need to charge enough to get back home to Greendale, past Greendale, all the way to Madison. So I think they still need to work a little bit, but then I, in its defense on the safe side, um, I did cut it close getting to Madison, although I could have slowed down. I did 75 miles an hour all the way there. I could have slowed down and made it using less energy, uh, but I, I think I made it pretty fair. I mean, I, I, I knew I had a lot of power left, so I just kind of let it go. And these 60s are slightly bit more efficient than the 85. Said that out loud again. So, okay, now that we're evening out a little bit, negative 6% we arrive with in Milwaukee. That's as consumption evens out. Remember, that was the on ramp, so we used a lot. And now that's starting to even out right now for the last five miles, I'm averaging 241 watts per mile. Let's just do the last 30, 289. The last 15, 284, now 287, we're going uphill. So, based on that current consumption, we'd arrive with negative, we wouldn't arrive with negative 6% battery remaining. And there you have it, folks. Uh, now, that is a really, really useless feature, excuse me, useful feature. I actually like that quite a bit. It's a good way, since it's always updating. Um, it's a good way to see, all right, well, I'm getting close, but does the car think I'm going to make it? No, I better get off the freeway and maybe plug into a J1772 for a short while. Or or maybe uh, if there's none of those around, maybe I should just spend an hour at a fast food restaurant, plugged into a 120, have some quick lunch, and gain three miles back just to make sure I can make it. Salute! Smile, cheese.